listen to music or separately I call bands you find your musical partners or your sort of uh, you know your gang as it were and uh, me and Matt got put together by our parents was very uh, uncool Yeah, music really is the, the simplest, or the, it's the easiest and quickest form to sort of make someone feel something sometimes. It's quite a raw um, form of expression, I guess. The devil takes care of his own. Yeah, well, the songs for us have always been quite a living thing, and um, I mean, we listen to our record, we make it, and then and then that's it, really. Like, just go, we play them every night, so there's no point listening to how you did it two years ago or whatever it might be. I think to begin with, um, the key influences <clears throat> were to do with our parents. They had they were the biggest influence on our um, uh, on where we began, all sort of separately. Um, my dad and Emma's dad were both musicians and played in bands. Russell's dad was a huge fan and went to see some incredible like gigs early on. And and uh, I guess the blues was something which we felt very comfortable playing. When you're playing live, there is that connection between the audience and the band, and you can feel it going back and forth. And then it makes us on stage kind of there is that kind of looking around, going, "Wow, this is this is something." But yeah, it has a, an effect on people for sure. And if you can make someone feel excited with some you know loud music and it's one of those things when you're a kid that you remember the first kind of if it's a gig or like you've been to a festival guitar music comes from there and it comes from this route you know through out of jazz into blues and onto rock and roll so We have such a, a, ri a rich musical history here, and especially with guitar music, rock music, and um, yeah, you don't want to sort of sully that with anything below par. So yeah, we, we, that's what we've grown up with, and we'd like to sort of add a footnote or two if we can.